The doc's latest assignment is to explore his body's reaction to extreme G-force. A cutting-edge stunt plane can subject the body to forces of up to 8G, which means eight times stronger than ground. G-lock. I'd like to push the limits, push my limits a little bit and see what happens. The stunt plane is airborne and climbing rapidly to 8,000 feet, where pilot Nuge will send it into a rapid 6G downward spiral. It's nearly 8,000 feet, Maui, and then we're going to start building the G now. At 6Gs, the dock can expect everything to weigh six times greater than normal. His neck will have to support his new five-stone head, and his 12-stone body will weigh an incredible half a ton, the equivalent to being sat on by a fully grown cow. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. One now. Race, Jonathan. Here comes the G. There's six. Oh. 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 What was that? You went to actually six G. Right. So I went to sort of grey, and then all of a sudden I pretty much lost vision. It was almost like looking at wallpaper. Yeah. But loads of patterns. I didn't lose consciousness. I could. Yeah. Go. You went through grey out. As the dock is forced into his seat by the G-force of the spiraling plane, blood is pulled out of his head and down to it. Without oxygen, the dock's vision goes black and white as he enters grey out. Seconds later, blackout occurs as all vision is lost. Not content with remaining conscious at 6 Gs, the dock has decided to go again. This time, Nuge is going to subject the dock to the full 8 Gs, equivalent to being sat on by one and a half cows. Race, Jonathan. Here we go. I didn't even go grey that time. Brilliant. I had to work hard at it as well. That was 8G for about 7 seconds. Uh, OK, so there's the limit of the aeroplane. 8Gs, and still the dock fights off G-lock. It seems Nuge has one more extreme G manoeuvre in his locker. By flipping the plane on its back and flying in an upside-down spiral, he plans to push blood into the dock's head with a force of minus 4Gs. Then, a sudden flip back to plus six, and the dock will be subjected to a massive body-bashing shift of 10 Gs. That's a two-cow shift. We're going to go negative to positive now. If we just roll, and then we do an outside turn, I'm going to push now. And I'm going to pull. Good night. Hello. 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 There's 6G. And Jonathan's lost consciousness. Hello. Hello. Are you there yet? Yeah, I, I'm completely blacked out then. Yeah. I'm completely blacked out. Wowie. I was absolutely and totally out cold. Even the dock can't beat Nuge's minus four to plus six stunt. His body, already compensating for a head full of blood, is totally unprepared for the 10G shift. All the blood drains from his skull, and as oxygen levels get critically low, his brain shuts down and he passes clean out. Mission accomplished. We have G-Lock.